Hi, Adriana. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Oh, hi, Stephen, too. Uh, okay, so I'm both. I'm in both the Google Hangouts and the Zoom right now, and there's people in the Google Hangouts. Uh, okay, so let's send them over this way. Let okay, me so guys, join the Zoom link. Can you guys hear me in the Google Hangouts right now? Yeah. So let me go ahead and, and I'll delete. I don't know why it showed up in the uh, invitation for the Google Hangouts. She's, she, she's going to put the Zoom link on the um, on the Google Calendar right now. Uh huh. Yes, please. Yes. I don't understand why this is happening. So uh, Nona and Re Claudia and is that down there? Uh, is that John? Was it showing uh, yeah. up? Oh, sorry. Was it showing up uh, as as a Google Hangout again? Yeah, it was showing up as a Google yeah. Hangout, and you didn't have your Zoom link in the event. Why? So we, we we thought we were um, going to Google Hangouts. I'll okay. just hang out in the Google Hangouts just in case somebody joins. Please do, and I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, update right this moment. And um, so we do have some new people who are helping Ooh. set everything up. I don't know if that was the problem, but no, it looks like you're just. I don't know how this happened, but we'll, we'll fix it. Professor okay. Hertz. Uh, give me just I, a minute, please. Hello? Uh, give me just a minute. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. So I'm going to go through and make yeah, sure. Yeah, do you need the Zoom link, John? So I sent that out again. I'm going to go through and make sure all of the other uh, appointments today are also fixed. Okay, it looks like all the other ones are correct. Correct. And nope, one more needs to get changed here for me. The one tonight at 8 p.m.? 8 p.m., mm -hmm. I see that, thank you. Okay. There's nobody in the Google Hangouts anymore. Wonderful, thank you, Stephen. So, great, all right. Okay, so, yeah, we'll get that, we'll get that, uh, Right away, so this should be good. Good. All right. So now that should not be an issue moving forward. Now somebody had a question for me. I heard somebody asking a question. Yes, it's me, Professor. It's Who's or me? ex Professor Claudia. <laughs> oh, hi, Claudia. Hi, hi. I just I, I can't stay uh, too long now. We're um, um, today. I just wanted to check in and see where I can um, possibly help, or would you just uh, rather me look at positions through the portal and see where I can? Oh, I would love to. Um, so you're, you're thinking about doing um, a, a help interning maybe this semester at the REC? Yes, um, I mean, uh, I know that I told you about that position and then I cannot give what's needed. As far as the workload, I can give the 10 hours, but maybe weekends, so. I think it's best to give that one to someone else. Okay, but okay. I can I can do volunteer work. So um so we have um yeah we we definitely have uh, a lot of unpaid internships. That's what most people are doing. We only had three paid internships. No, yeah, three paid internships, and and um, those were delegating uh, to you know to the people who can do it. So we are actually uh, if you're interested in doing this. I'd like to get you set, set up. Are you not? You're not available today to um, to stick around with us. I can, um, I, how long? What time do we want to do? Because I could probably do the nine nine p.m. one. The late. That's, ah, not that, that's, that's something different. So the okay. one at, at eight o'clock tonight is actually going to be for the uh, student founders. So this is specifically for people who are doing internships, unpaid internships. Okay. So well, if you can't stick around for the next hour. I'm going to record it, and you can come back and watch it again. Okay, basically, I look at the process of what to do to sign up, or is yep, that what's going exactly, to be included? Exactly. We're going to go over exactly the logistics of the uh, of the internship and how we um, you know, how you log the hours and what exactly it means to be an intern and just the entire uh, process. Yeah. Okay, that sounds uh, pretty fantastic to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy that you can, and just stick around as long as you can, as long as you can, okay? Okay. All right, cool. So then I'm going to... Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, helping me to get that figured out with the, uh, with the calendar. We do have a lot of uh, a lot of new people on board and a lot of new things happening and there's going to be, I'm sure, anytime there's 
uh, new, there's always the potential for there to be errors, and that's okay. We'll get them um, squared away and figured out, and and uh, we'll work through them. If you are, uh, if you really, really do not like working in an environment that there's a lot of change, that um, there's ambiguity, unknowns, uh, you you might not be that happy in the field of entrepreneurship <coughs> in general. And so I would say, yeah, maybe pick a different uh, a different career field or a different uh, a different internship. Now, the people who are here today, uh, the meeting is going to be for the interns uh, primarily, and um, and we're going to focus on the unpaid internships. Like I said, we do have the the pos we do have a couple of paid internships opening up, and I'll um, connect with those of you who are doing those paid internships after uh, the meeting today. And um, in order to be eligible for a paid internship, you do have to have gone through the uh, unpaid internship at least once. And then, um, and then from there, we uh, we apply and we um, you know we go through and um, we'll be able to pick as many as we can, right? And then hopefully those will become permanent positions uh, as we grow. So I hope most of you uh, got the email address or email um, from me that I sent a, a little bit ago, and um, I know that some of you did because I, I got your responses and I appreciate that. So uh, those of you who have not read the email. I, um, this has been a little bit of a challenging week for me. I had a family member pass away um, earlier this week and it was unexpected and um, really unexpected. And uh, it was one of those tragic accidents that can happen that you don't really expect to happen. Um, and so, um, you know, so that's been a little bit of a challenge and I will have to take a couple of days off uh, probably next week uh, for the funeral. And I have to drive because of COVID. I don't want to get on an airplane. So, you know, um, my uncle passed away um, earlier this week. Uh, he was an aeronautical engineer and he liked to fix things. And he was um, fixing this new truck that he got and this big diesel truck. And <clears throat> it fell off of the, um, the jack stand and it killed him. But um, luckily, I just found out yesterday that, that the coroner had said that um, he died instantly, which was actually kind of a, a blessing for me because before that I, I didn't know. And yeah, that was really hard. So um, yeah, so all of you, if you're going to work on a vehicle, always take the time to put those floor jacks, right? So that it, it supports the weight of the vehicle. <sighs> Anyways, that horrible, uh, out of the way, we're done with that. Um, you know, I, I, I try to be as authentic a human being as I can and not to, to lie about anything or to, to be inauthentic. And so I figured I better tell you because you'll maybe be wondering why I'm you know, not myself right now. So anyways, okay, moving on. Um, okay, let's talk about the internship this semester. I, um, I like the work can give me a distraction. Thank you all for your condolences. Um, but um, yeah, I, I like being able to be distracted by work, and, and so I'm excited to be working. And so I think that we'll be able to um, get a lot done right now. So let's talk about um, what you all need to do in order to um, to make the most of this internship, and um, and to really. Um, first of all, thank you for doing this. It's really cool. You you will be helping people to start their companies and launch startups. And beyond that, you'll really be learning what it's like to be operating in a startup and you will get connections to um, really the heavy hitters in the field of entrepreneurship um, here in the San Diego um, entrepreneurship innovation ecosystem. And um, you'll be making connections that you will take with you for the rest of your life. This is a good, good way to figure out if you are um, if you're an entrepreneur, if this is something that you could do for the rest of your life too, without the commitment of, of actually getting in, um, starting a company in the rec and working that many hours. So uh, let's talk about what it would be like uh, for those of you who are, um, who have signed up and are, are interning this semester. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start by sharing my, <clears throat> it's not coronavirus, I promise. I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to look at the required documents uh, for uh, this 
for this uh, class, but it's not really a class for this internship. And this is required of you regardless of where you're getting your internship credit from. So we have some people who are getting credit for this through SDSU, through UCSD, through USD, and do we have anybody else here? I think we have one CSUSM. One CSUSM, okay? So uh, then we also have people who are not getting any course credit. Oh, and Miramar College, right? Miramar College. So you have the option of, of uh, getting credit through your home university, through Miramar College, through none, or through both. A lot of people who are getting their credit through their home university uh, would also like to get credit through Miramar College. And you can absolutely, absolutely do that. Um, and the benefit to doing that is there are some scholarships available to you um, if you do sign up for the 270 uh, internship class. And there are some other, um, you know, some other benefits that we can take advantage of. Oh, and then also, that's also another way that we could potentially um, do a paid internship next, um, either later this semester or next semester. So all of you, regardless of what you're doing, um, if you're doing this through your home university or through Miramar, uh, you do need to, um, you do need to uh, follow these um, requirements. And there are a few things that you need to, to fill out. So um, let's look at the required forms that you have to do. All of you have to complete a sexual harassment training. Now, if you've already done that last semester, you don't have to do that again right now. It's good for one year, but I do need you to have um, some sort of a, a copy of that. Um, that sexual harassment training. Um, here is the link to that. Now, where you find all of these documents are in the recap or the Rec Connect. So we're gonna go ahead and, and um, look at that there. We should start there. So we'll start by saying, uh, did everybody get access to the Rec Connect, uh, our, our online um, connection platform? Yes. Yes, I did. Awesome. Good, good, good. Anybody who did not yet get access to this um, platform? Okay, if you did not get access, I see a couple, couple, couple hands up. Okay, if you did not get access, no big deal. Um, we'll just uh, afterwards get you access, okay? <clears throat> All right, moving on. Um, so to find these resources, uh, these uh, forms that you need to fill out, they are located here under resources and let me see if, okay, so I don't know, it doesn't look like, he might have put them in at the end. Okay, looks like he might have put these in here at the end, which is great. So you should now be able to, wonderful, you'll be able to access all of these required forms. Yay, wonderful, on the, um, on the platform. And then you'll also be able to turn these forms in. So uh, we'll go through them one by one. The first is the sexual harassment training. Um, I think we should start there because I, uh, that's um, no fun to do, but everybody has to do this. You'll have to do this. Uh, you're, the, the founders uh, who are starting companies have to do this. The mentors, anybody who has anything to do with the rec has to do uh, a sexual harassment training. We, we pay for the training and the certification, so you don't need to worry about, about that, but you do need to get it started and get it completed. Now, um, uh, here's the link to access uh, the, the instructions for the training. Um, get started on this as soon as possible. Uh, it needs to be completed. The first portion of this, part one, has to be completed by September 5th. That's not a lot of time. It's not a lot of time. And you, uh, when you create this account with them, you'll either use your uh, CSID, your CSID is your uh, college student identification, um, or identification. That's crazy. Like, I just thought of that ID, the, the, the um, acronym for that. It feels like it's all identification and just one little I, so. Okay, anyways, um, if you don't have that identification uh, number, uh, you can use your birth date followed by 20 for uh, 2020. So if your birthday is June 4th, 1975, your ID would be 06041975 Okay, and then it takes between one and three hours to complete. They won't let you skip forward. You have to actually watch the entire uh, 
training. It's um, it's fun, right? Then you create the account, you 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 complete your your training, and then we do need you to either take a screenshot of your uh, completion, the evidence of your completion, or you have the option of saving it as a PDF or uh, an image. But you do need to get me that um, you know that's something that screenshot something that says yes i did this and i um, am done with it right then to upload that once you're done with that uh to upload that you'll upload it to the uh resources page and i'm going to get back to you i'll make a video on how to upload that because i haven't done it yet unless has anybody uploaded a form here yet not yet oh i haven't okay so then we're gonna have to figure that out together so I know he put something, here it is, form submission. Maybe we won't have to, maybe it'll be easy. A form submission. Ah, wonderful. So he did, uh, what he did is he created a, a separate drive uh, folder for us where we can submit our paperwork. So all you'll have to do is you'll have to do, uh, do a new folder. And then on the folder, you'll do your last name. Hoppala. Your last name. Nom, name, comma, uh, first name. Oh, come on. <laughs> so, as I was trying to do that, uh, last name, comma, first name. I cut my finger pretty bad this morning. And uh, so I'm having trouble typing. I have fat fingers, first name. Okay, perfect, okay. And then inside that, uh, inside that folder that you've made, you'll put all Hola, of the documents. Yeah? Question? Hola, sweetie. Somebody have a question for me? Hey, Michael, your microphone is unmuted if you don't realize. Oh, sorry about that. No worries, no worries. <laughs> all right, so moving on. Uh, the other... Um, big form that I wanted to make sure that everybody uh, is comfortable with is the, um, it's called the learning agreement. And the reason why I want to spend some time looking at the learning agreement is because this talks about what you're actually going to be doing um, over the course of the semester. Where is the learning agreement for interns? It might not be there yet. So uh, he's still working on putting everything in. It's the learning agreement for interns. I'm sure he'll put it in there soon. And this is what it looks like. And um, if you're doing this uh, internship uh, with, uh, with Miramar College, you'll be putting in the, this CRN, that's the course reference number, the three units that you'll get um, credit for, and this is the instructor name. If you're not doing the um, class, if you're, not, if you're not getting credit with Miramar College, I still want you to complete this form because this is the way that we, um, that we gauge whether or not you were effective in your, um, as an intern with the startups uh, for which you're working. So still put all of the information other than uh, that course reference number and your CSID. Um, instead here, you would just put, um, you know, not receiving credit or something like this. Um, this is just for us internally. Now the employer um, information, this is going to be the startup, the primary startup team that you're going to be working with and you get to choose that, okay? We have some time on this. Um, we have a, a couple of weeks um, before it's due. It's not due until September 10th. And so you have, um, you have time to figure out which teams you want to work with and, and what your primary team is. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Then afterwards, you'll be signing this. Uh, the supervisor will sign this as well. Um, and then the instructor will sign it um, in the end. Now, the supervisor, who's your supervisor? Well, your supervisor will actually be the startup team for which um, um, you're working with. And so all of you are going to be supporting the startups uh, different startups and so here let me let me show you one thing too um, i'll show you where to find those uh, this information on the startups but let's see um okay 
So I wanted to show you one other thing is, um, especially if you're getting credit on this, you'll want to hurry to get this uh, to get this into us uh, sooner than later. And it will need a signature. All of them need a signature. So I want to show you how to do an online signature because um, with PDF, because a lot of people have issues with this or haven't done it before. So to, to input your signature, you would go like this, tools, and then you would do annotate, and then you would add your signature, right? And then um, I've already drawn my signature, tools, annotate, signature, and then manage signatures. So we can add a new signature, create signature, click here to begin. And then you just write on the, um, on your pad, right? So mine is right there. I have my signature. You type any key to be done with it. And now it's done, done. There's my signature. Then I take that signature. I put it where it needs to be. And now I have my online signature, right? I can make it bigger. I can, hey, there I am, right? So that's where it would be, right? Okay. The other thing um, you'll want to do is you'll want to look at the three primary um, learning objectives uh, throughout the course of the um, semester. And these are what we really want you to be working on. We want you to be working on expanding your own professional network as an entrepreneur or an entrepreneurship um, you know, in the entrepreneurship realm, it doesn't necessarily mean you're an entrepreneur, um, you know, maybe you're uh, some other kind of a support with entrepreneur, um, whatever that is, right. Um, and then um, you'll be supporting the startups, you'll be planning um, workshops for the rec, and you will be attending workshops uh, with the rec. So you uh, are planning or hosting uh, two workshops every month and you're attending two workshops every month and then you're working with the startups on a weekly basis. So all told, um, you're putting in a significant amount of time, about, um, we say uh, about uh, seven hours, uh, seven and a half hours total per week is, uh, is really what, what's expected of you for this. Um, not all of that time is working you know, with the startups. So the three um, learning <clears throat> learning objectives or, or primary outcomes for this, this course are um, listed here. So we have um, creating your personal LinkedIn. All of you do need to create a LinkedIn account. Um, you need to connect with the rec and you need to connect with the startups. Uh, there's videos on how you, can, uh, how you can do that. And those videos are located in the, um, in the rec connect platform and um, also in our uh, in our uh, rec YouTube and I can show you where to find those videos about creating your LinkedIn. So actually, let me just go to the rec connect. And I don't know if he has those up yet. He might not have those up yet. Yeah. I don't think those are up yet. Now that I'm thinking of it, those might not be up. So if you wanted to get started on that, your only option right now until we get those up in the Rec Connect is to go to our uh, YouTube, our, uh, our Rec Innovation Lab YouTube, stop talking, um, and then um, actually look at the uh, LinkedIn videos and you can just type in the search bar LinkedIn is probably the easiest. And it'll show you all of the, uh, the LinkedIn videos that we have, our videos on LinkedIn. The ones that you'll want to watch are, wow, there's a lot here that's not have anything to do with LinkedIn, but um, this is the one that you should probably um, start by watching. LinkedIn profile for founders. In fact, what I'll do is I'm gonna share this with you. Right Hi now. everyone, Tanya Hertz here. Yep, that's me. <laughs> and then copy and then Da, da, da. In the chat, I will go ahead and share that with you if you would like to like to actually turn on that. Perfect. Awesome. Now, um, I have too many things open, right? So let's go back to back to the required documents. So um, some other Blah, not there. Uh, other required documents that you need to complete are, oops, here there. Uh, you need to complete the, uh, you need to complete the application. Now the application is only required if you are um, getting credit through, through Miramar. 
and the application looks like this. Now, um, I didn't say this on that last document. I should say this on the other document as well. Let me go back to it. Uh, this learning agreement document, everyone needs to complete this, whether or not you are going to be getting credit through us, like I said, um, but your supervisor, we didn't talk about that. Um, the supervisor is um, the, the startup that you're working with. And from the beginning, your supervisor needs to see this. And then um, at the end, your supervisor will actually sign off on this, um, well, two times uh, during the semester. Okay, so, um, you know, that first one is you creating your LinkedIn. The second one, oh, I didn't finish that. Um, creating the LinkedIn and then also connecting with people through LinkedIn. Um, we want you to expand your network. We really want you to, um, we want you to get as much out of this program as you possibly can. And so we're really hoping that you can, um, you can get really well connected with uh, lots of people in the program. So uh, you'll connect with the rec, you'll connect with us, and then you're actually going to be creating posts in LinkedIn. Um, and those posts uh, will be uh, a way that we um, will actually be supporting the, um, the, the teams, right? Um, so create eight tagged posts. That means that in a 16 week semester, uh, every other week or twice per month, you will be creating a post in LinkedIn. And, um, and you'll be tagging the uh, entrepreneurs, tagging the rec, tagging each other, um, and just really helping with the social media or the content marketing. And uh, I can show you, do we have enough time? Yeah, I have enough time. I'm gonna show you really quickly uh, an example, of what we mean by that. I'll go to my LinkedIn or go to LinkedIn in general, <clears throat> excuse me. And let's pick, I'm gonna pick, does anybody wanna volunteer themselves? One of the, one of the interns from last semester? Adriana raised her head. Uh, thank you, Adriana. I was hoping you would say that because you did such a good job. So Adriana's great. Yeah. So there's Adriana. And um, so Adriana last semester, she connected with a couple different teams at the rec and she actually was asked to be a permanent team member on um, which team was it, Adriana? Uh, Trembuck. Trembuck. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, that's kind of one of the cool things if you get be on there right as a permanent team member um, but never know it's not not a guarantee so um, here is Adriana's platform and I wanted to show you her an example of a post so that you could see kind of what we were um, looking for and there's a great one. Oh, this is good most she won the award for most dedicated intern so that's awesome that's really awesome um, and so you can see here, she put a post about that, a picture of the certificate. She tagged the lab, she tagged me. I love it. I haven't been through in a couple of days, so that's so cool. Um, yeah, and then uh, some other posts in case you don't win that prize. Um, you could do a post about one of the teams that you're working with. Um, so she posted here about, um, you know, some of the work that she'd been doing with AllSource with ASE and tagged uh, those tag the founders there um tagged uh, another team that is doing amazing things bridge and um so you can see it's it's helping her to build out her profile um and then it's helping the student founders to um you know build out their network and um and really help us to kind of reach as many people as possible and this all helps with the search engine optimization and getting our names out there and doing really well so yeah, that's a um, good job, Adriana, very good job. So the, the second objective is that you are going to be um, both planning and attending our virtual workshops. As you've seen, we do lots and lots and lots of workshops at the REC. They're all uh, virtual and you can look at the um, upcoming workshops at eventbrite.com and our Eventbrite um, link, I can share that with you. Actually, probably easiest to do it right here. I'll put this uh, link in the chat if you're looking for it. And so uh, Suganya and um, Stephen will be working with you to uh, help you to figure out which events you, will be your events, but Essentially, each of the interns will be hosting themselves 
um, the entire event from start to finish, planning for it, communicating with the founder or, or with the, um, the guest speaker, um, doing just everything. And um, uh, you're doing two of those a month. And so there's just a few on the list right now, but I know there's a lot more than this in the calendar um, coming up. So you'll, you'll have those. Um, you'll want to be doing that with at least one other person. So if you don't have a, a buddy yet in the rec, another intern who you can buddy up with, uh, we definitely want to, uh, to get you paired up with somebody. And you can, you can switch. You don't have to stay with that same person for the entire semester or, um, you know, or semester to semester, you can, you can just do one workshop with that person and then, and then switch. You just have to let Suganya and Steven know so that they can um, then, uh, you know, they can, they, when they're managing the different events, they'll know who to send them to. And then the final part is that third component, which is probably the most important component since the whole reason we're here is to help startups start. And so you're um, doing that. You're working with the startups in the rec. And you have to find, uh, um, I, I, we do ask that you work with at least two startups, but that um, one of the startups is sort of a primary, um, primary startup that you work with. And the second might just be kind of supplemental, like maybe you do every once in a while a little something for another team. But you do need to find a team that you really want to, to work with and work for. Um, to do that, you can start by looking at the existing teams that we have now and um, all the teams that we've, uh, we have invited to the, uh, to the rec for the fall semester. And you can go through and you can watch their videos, right? They have um, uh, YouTube links here. They have, uh, most of them have like commercials that they've made and things like this. You can find out a lot about um, the companies this way. Now this, and this is on that recap form and this recap form is located in here, are the Red Connect under resources. And it's like on the first or second page of resources, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nope. Oh, he's working on it right now. So that's why maybe it's a little funky right now, but it's there. It's called recap 2020. It's yeah. on the top of page two. Oh, cool. It's just not showing on maybe. Oh, did it show on mine? And I just like breeze past it. Oh no, it just doesn't show on mine right now. Cause maybe because I'm on that. Um, it's there on the top. Do you see? Yeah, it's on there. Oh, I was looking, I was totally looking at this wrong. I'm so sorry, you guys. I was looking over here and I was thinking like, what did he put? Thank you, Enzo. Thank you, Sada. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I swear, my, my, I am just not myself right now. I'm so like, it's hard for me to focus, but thank you very much. <laughs> thanks for keeping me in check. You're okay, Tanya. Oh, thanks, Freyan. Thank you. So yeah. I hope you're doing well. I, yeah, I'm, I'm hanging in there. It's, it's helping to work and to talk to all you, all you guys and everything. It helps. So, yep. Then it, there's another way that we're also going to be um, working with each other or finding our um, connection to those um, teams. And that is um, in a couple of weeks, is it? Uh, no, let's see. It's next week, I believe. Let me double check. If I put it on the calendar yet. I might not have. And you know what? It's not on the calendar yet. So I'm going to, um, I'll put it on the calendar. Uh, and I'm, I, you know, maybe I have to double check because I'm not sure if there was a reason why it's not up yet. But I was planning to do it on this um, next week, the 27th. And what we were planning to do is we're planning to have the um, startup teams uh, at their, one of the, uh, at the accountability check uh, next week, uh, just to pitch if they need more interns working for them. So just to tell you a little bit more about their companies and um, give you the opportunity to also uh, tell them about what your skill sets um, are and um, what kind of company you're kind of hoping to work with, right? So that we can kind of pair you up. So actually I'll put it out to you, you all. 
would you like to do that? Uh, would you like to do that next week? And would you like to do that during your accountability check in next week? Or would you rather do that uh, later and save the accountability check in for just us? What are your thoughts on that? Is that in reference to the, the learning agreement or? That's in reference to uh, getting paired up with uh, entrepreneurs, working with entrepreneurial oh. teams, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea. It's really what helped, I think, like in the summer, it helped a lot because before I didn't know any of the teams. And did you like, um, so what I had thought was last time in the summer, we just had the teams pitch and we didn't have you, you all pitch, but I kind of, a lot of the teams had asked me to have you all pitch too. What are your thoughts on that? Would you, would you guys like to do that or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would be helpful. So the teams know more what the interns can help with. So, cause I had a lot of people reach out to me and not a lot, but a couple of people asked me if I could help with a certain thing. And I was like, I mean, not really like I don't really know what I'm doing with that so maybe not. They're like oh can you can you do some like industrial engineering or something and you're like no it's not me yeah okay um, I think that's a good idea too yeah. what do you guys want to thank you Rohan do you want to do it at four o'clock next week then during your accountability check-in um, or should we do it later we could do it at five or we could do it at eight I don't know why I didn't book it I think if it's with the founders and if they want to know about the interns probably it's a good idea if it's somewhat of a mixed setting that everyone is there together. Um, yeah, so maybe, um, I don't see any reason why we couldn't just do it during our our scheduled time. I, th I, yeah. I think that could also work, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Oh, you were thinking of doing it outside of the scheduled time, Rohan, or? No, I, I was thinking of um, uh, the meetings that we would have with the student founders, uh -huh. but then, um, uh, the interns would also join the same meeting and um, pitch uh, in. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I agree with Rohan. I think that will work. Bit better to do it then la later during their their meeting time, and then just have you join then. Or, yeah, crash their meeting. Yeah. Okay, then can we do it at uh, like at five o'clock or at eight o'clock? What do you guys think? Uh, let's do five. Five. Uh, five. Five. So you know what? This is perfect. Actually, that I'm glad that you because it's back to back. Yep, back to, and another cool thing is we can then prepare at the four o'clock time that we have. We can use that to kind of prepare and to like talk about it. And like if anybody wants to practice pitching or something like that, you can. Um, yeah, cool. Then I'll do that at five o'clock. And then this will be something that we can actually, an event that we can uh, plan for too. And so one of the teams will, um, will get this. So to plan for. Yeah. I can ask you a quick question. Is it possible to get the brief bio of uh, each intern? Uh, a, a brief bio of each intern? Yeah, so the way that you do that, um, I, was that Vivek talking? Yes, yes. Yeah, the way that you do that, Vivek, is actually here, let me show you, is uh, in this beautiful uh, recap, uh, ReconNect. So in the Red Connect, um, part of what we've been, uh, we've been doing is everybody's been building out their bios. And so we should have, um, by the end of this week, all of the bios uh, created. Look, John, uh, good job, John, um, uh, created his bio. Karina, I'm working on mine. Uh, do anybody want to volunteer for me to look at their bio? I'll check that in there. But I think it would be a good idea to at least have a list of interns, because the searching could be a little bit of a, uh, so, um, but so Ganya can probably the names of interns, you know? So, so yeah, what we can do, um, so if, if you like, I, I see what you're saying, there's a lot of people here, right? There's the rec, there's, um, uh, you know, different uh, people within the rec, yeah. and we don't have the interns um, as is. So what we'll do is, um, rather than having an extra, you know, an extra step, what we should uh, maybe do is, we should see if we can um, if we can have Bryce set it up so that all of the interns are listed in one list and then all of the founders in another so that we can kind of have, have them separated out. So what we'll do is I'll send Bryce a message and see if that's something that he can do because I think that would be really um, beneficial. And that way, like next week when, um, let's say, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, Maricela is pitching, then, um, you know, this is her company, she's not an intern, but uh, 
then you could go in here and you could see what it actually, you know, what her company was about, what kind of, um, you know, uh, what kind of problems she, she was solving, what she was r really, uh, you know, all about there. And you could look at uh, each of the individual people while they were, while they're pitching. So yeah, I'll work on that, Vivek, uh, getting, a, or hopefully Bryce will be able to do that. So yeah, that's but awesome. That, that will be helpful because I think um, the uh, several startups, they may not themselves know what they need sometimes, you know, so they may need some help with kind of uh, in terms of the resources will be available and it's a bilateral. Absolutely. Fact. Absolutely. This is a, this is, is something that we don't need to just know what the, uh, what the startups want or what the interns want, but really is it's a mutual, um, mutually beneficial uh, arrangement. And so I think it's going to be great to have everybody's information in there. So um, that said, also, I saw a lot of you did a great job going in and updating your bios last week. Uh, continue to work on this. Let's get these totally uh, completed, filled out. And um, you have some time on the other required forms, but you you definitely need to get get this done, get started on the sexual harassment training, and um, and then we have, like I said, some time to do the other, um, you know, the other uh, agreements uh, and forms. Um, okay, so that's and now for next week for when we're uh, pitching with the entrepreneurs. When we're, we're talking to one another, uh, I think what maybe be best is if we just kept it like an elevator pitch, because that's essentially, I mean, that's what it is. It's an elevator pitch that we're, we're doing. And so uh, an elevator pitch is just a very short uh, little um, talk where it's not prescripted. You're not sharing fancy slides. There's no PowerPoints. There's no products. There's nothing, uh, you know, nothing in terms of props. It's just you telling what it is that you um, are there to tell. And uh, for, for all of us um, as interns, what would be most relevant would be, um, you know, you, you'll wanna start by introducing yourself. You'll wanna tell if you've already worked um, at the rec before or worked in an incubator before or what kind of um, experience you have in the world of entrepreneurship. And then you'll wanna share some uh, information about uh, your particular skill sets and what you are good at, what they could lean on you for. So if you've uh, taken several marketing classes, you might, you know, you'd share that and say, I have a lot of, um, a lot of experience um, or a lot of not maybe experience, but education in marketing, or if you have a lot of experience in customer service or sales, they're always looking for people with a sales, um, sales background, let them know. I've, I've done uh, five years of customer service or whatever that is. And um, that's what they're like to see. No more than a minute, no more than a minute. So I will stop you at 60 seconds. So practice to get that time down. And you want to talk the way that you speak uh, normally, just as a regular person. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't have to be um, full of uh, jargon or uh, complicated terms that nobody understands. Just speak like uh, a human being and everyone will understand. O obviously keep it professional as well, but, uh, but you don't need to make it full of statistics or things like this. So any questions about that pitch or about um, next week getting paired up with those teams? Um, if we're already working with two or more teams, should we still pitch? I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, like, yeah, why not to get the to network with the new teams coming in? I was just asking, like, in general. Yeah, no, yeah. So I, I love that. I love, I love what, what you're thinking. I mean, I don't want to dictate if it's, um, and you know me, I don't like busy work. I can't stand it. But if you think there's value in it, and, and I could see there being value in it, just, you know, so that you can kind of get to know one another and, and yeah, and they can know you. And if anything happens where you, you might want to, work with another team later or I don't know I, I kind of think it would be valuable does everyone agree though I don't want to dictate like I said yeah I, I think so too I think it's it's worth the the minute the change <laughs> yeah the minute of your life right yeah yeah, the minute. yeah it I wouldn't think, hurt I think yeah I agree okay let's do it okay so should we disclose if you're working with uh, other startups should we disclose that don't you guys agree I mean I think so yeah. I was yeah. gonna mention that so like Adriana could just say like uh, like give her pitch and at the end maybe say like I'm already working with like these companies so maybe like kind of indicate somehow that you don't have as much time for right. companies so people don't like keep hitting you up 
Yeah, you don't want them to be like, oh, I'm so excited. She's the perfect person. I found her. And then you're like, oh, never mind. I already have a job. Great. I don't want to work with you. But, you know, maybe that's a great, great point, Enzo. Maybe you could still give them a little, like, um, a little help here and there if they ask for something simple. So, yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's a great point. I think it's important to disclose, though, to tell people if you are. That's one thing I wanted to add. Uh, so I'm working with two teams as an intern already, just helping out with them, helping them out with uh, uh, designs and stuff. But right. then there are some teams who have also reached out in addition to those for specific needs that they want in terms of graphics and stuff for the app stuff. Um, so I know like some teams might want just like some of the needs on top of the help yeah. that they're getting from interns. So I think having that skill set uh, having told them the skill set that we have, I think is also going to help with uh, getting cer certain tasks delegated to interns and stuff. I agree wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. I think that it's, um, it's important. It's really important that, uh, you know, that, that we help them as much as we can, but we don't overextend ourselves too. There's only so many hours in a day and, and uh, you know, people, just because somebody asks you also does not mean you have to say yes. If you cannot do it, say no, um, you know, I, I'm a little stretched right now, whatever it is, uh, you know, if you can make it happen, great, but don't don't kill yourselves over it. And, um, oh, I was going to say also, uh, just some kind of rule of thumbs uh, to, to, in terms of the communication, they might start reaching out to you right now. You know, they're, they're all gung-ho to get people to be helping them. And so, you know, as they reach out to you, you might want to, um, and just let them know that we have this coming up. And then um, also uh, there, there's a rule of, of, of communication saying that if somebody does reach out to you, try to give them, and I know do as I say, not as I do, but respond to them within 24 hours, whether or not you can say yes, or, or even if you have nothing to say, just say, I got your email. I, um, you know, I'm not sure right now, I'll get back to you within whatever the time frame is. But uh, just please don't leave people hanging uh, where they're just, wondering what's going on agreed um, i think you said before too that 24 hours is a good time zone or time window to mm -hmm. get back yeah exactly within 24 24 hours. Hours. it's fine you don't have to oh i have to always have my phone on me and be ready no 24 hours is totally acceptable it's it's fine it's fine um the other uh, couple things i was going to say about we talked a little bit about this last week but i'll talk um just again now we do have, uh, we will be starting in, then it won't be until, it won't be next week, it'll be the week after, where we're doing accountability check-ins. And that will be, make a lot more sense once we're actually working with the startup teams. And um, and you'll have this hour that we have together to do that, to, to, to do your quick uh, stand-up pitch telling us is, you know, essentially what you did this, uh, you know, what you did this week and, and how you, um, how you achieved what you achieved and if you had a needs. And I wanted to show you one other thing really quickly because we're almost at a time and I need to grab a bite in between. And that- A very quick question about that too. Yeah. So with the slides, do we have to upload them somewhere like last time? Uh, yeah, so so for the, um, for the accountability, for the no, accountability. no, you don't have to. Okay. As long as you are, are there, one thing you do have to do though is you do have to put your hours in every week right here in the recap uh, form. Nice yeah, just right here. And this name, if your name isn't on there, go ahead and put your name. And oh, it looks like something happened and we lost. Ah, we had it there and it's gone now. I will fix that so that so that it looks more like hopefully okay, good, still there. Uh, so it looks more like this with the weeks. You'll have the hours, the accomplishments, any problems that you had. Um, there and the last thing I wanted to share with you all was the um, uh, was the syllabus for where did that go here the syllabus for the class of la um, I'm not sure if oh I might have to just put it uh, I'll just put it in there for for you all I have the syllabus for your class which is um, yeah, I don't need to do that right now. I'll, I have the syllabus for your class. Um, it's it just shows you essentially what we talked about. Those three learning objectives, um, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I'll put that in here in the Red Connect under resources, and it'll just say um, business. Um, oh no, it'll say Rec Intern Syllabus. 
because we're all using 270. 270 we use for everything. Uh, don't get scared. I had people before who saw the 270 syllabus for the startup founders. You're doing different things, right? Everybody's doing different things. We're just using the umbrella of 270 for that. All right, I'm, I have a couple more minutes, three minutes uh, before I need to have a hard stop. So do we have any questions from anybody? I feel like I talked your ear off. Any questions at all? I have a quick question, Tanya. Yeah. Um, so for the internship, um, is it too late to add the class for like SDSU? Nope, not at all. Okay, uh, awesome. Most um, people haven't. So um, is it, was it John talking? Yes. So John, um, you'll be connecting with Sloan and he will help you um, with the, uh, do you know Professor Sloan? No, I don't. Okay. It's actually my first not, semester. Oh, yay. Okay, yeah. well, you're in the right place. What's your major? Um, I'm actually a business administration, but I'm doing specialization like HR. Okay, perfect. Then you'll have to do, um, the, the class that you're gonna take is going to be MGT 401 instead of the BA 401. And mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's a required class for your major and uh, he'll give you all the paperwork and, and do everything for it. So you'll be good to go. So just reach out to him and, and sign up for the, the class with Sloan. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And then what happens if there's like a wait list or will there be a for wait what? list? Um, since I know like um, for the semester starting about next week, but mm -hmm. I know some classes are like full, um, what if it, there's like a wait list? Uh, so are you talking about SDSU? Yes. Uh, so uh, the wait list, uh, we don't have a lot of discretion in that. We're only allowed to let in as many people as are um, permitted. And so we, we, every time a new seat opens up, we, we invite somebody else in. So you just get a notification in your email. So just keep right, an eye on okay. email. Yeah. Gotcha. And are you on a wait list on any of my classes? Oh, no, actually, I just did, I just clicked it up really quick. There's actually space. So I think the scratch oh, okay. that. Cool. Yeah. So, so I think I'll be able to sign up. Yeah. yeah Thank you. Fun. Good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Any other questions, anybody? Sanya, yes, Sanya. Sanya. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Suganya. Oh, uh, just a couple of questions. Um, for Gwen's event, did she actually confirm with the date, Tanya? Because yes. And those are the dates that are in the calendar. That's final. Uh, yes. Is she, are you having a hard time getting a hold of her? Uh, yes, because she hasn't responded to your email as well. Your last um, email. So uh, text her. She's more of a texter. So uh, who's her, who, who's working on her startup? Sarah and Enzo. and Enzo. Okay, yeah, you guys just text her, just text okay. her. Do you guys need me to share you her contact information again? Oh, I believe I have it. Okay, yeah, just text her. She'll show it on the way. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to confirm because they have everything ready for the event, but, yeah. the, dates, but the dates need to be confirmed. So we, I confirmed the dates with her and they're, they're good to go on the calendar. Okay, so there um, was no change? No, so we changed them on the calendar. Oh, okay. okay yeah. The confusion was because your email asks her to confirm. confirm yeah. Yeah. yeah, she did it in person. She texted me back. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, okay. she just texted me. She didn't respond to the email. She's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know with people which one they're going to be. For her, it was all text. So, yeah, um, but we changed them on there. So, they're, they're all right there now. On all the right. Thank, Thank you. For oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. The other question was on the recap form for the interns for ad codes. There were two people, Andrew and Brienne. Uh, said yes, so I emailed them the ad codes, but nobody else actually responded. I sent everybody an email reminder this week also, but nobody responded to that. Okay, you guys, 24 hours, respond yeah, to Yeah, I'll me. be able to respond, Sigonia. Sorry about that. I'm catching oh, up no, on no, no. Email. So I gave you the ad code. This is for students who did not respond whether they need an ad code or not. Okay, so um, if you, whether you need an ad code or not, please, they might not have known until this meeting today if they needed one. So, okay. um, and I know some people had asked me that same question if they needed one. Again, not required, if, but it, unless you're getting the the credit here um, at, uh, at at Miramar. So Suganya, you and I can meet up again at five, maybe, or or, or, or do you have time at five just for a quick meeting? Or oh uh, no, I have a class. Yes, yes, uh, yes. So, yes. Is it like an hour long? Yeah, no. So let's do it another time because I, uh, yeah, it's an hour long, but, but I need a short break in between here. So um, let's you and I connect. Uh, just send me a message because uh, there's okay. a few other things I want to chat with you about too. So, okay. Sounds good. Time. All right. Everybody else, I'm going to have to do okay. a hard stop. Yeah. Brianne. Yeah. Um, I was just asking, like, since I'm taking management 401 with Sloan, do I have to still be registered for the Miramar to get like, no. Oh, to get what? I don't know, because you said like we have to be signed up with a class, like, you know. Yeah, as long as you're registered with, with Sloan, that's good for me. You don't need to do both. You can do, be one or the other is fine. 
Okay, I'll check with Sagania like about how to transfer everything later. Sounds great. We'll talk to you all again soon. I'm going, at, I'll be back here at five o'clock. I just need a quick break in between. I want to grab mm -hmm. something to eat and I'll see you all at, um, if not, I'll see you all next week for the next check-in. So thank you all for being here. And this recording will be available tomorrow in the uh, YouTube channel. All right, take care. Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.